Sarah, we are delighted and thrilled to get to be with you. And as I was praying about our time together, God dropped a verse in my heart at Psalms 118 verse five. And it says, from my distress, I called upon the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. <laughs> I love that. You may be watching today and maybe you're feeling like you're in a distressed season or place in your life. And this says here, when we call on the Lord that God answers us and sets us in a large and spacious place. God has answers, solutions, provision, and a new season, new opportunities, new doors, new thoughts, new ways for you. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We are thrilled to pray for you. And we've considered a tremendous, tremendous honor. And mom, I'm so excited. We have Aww. one of our favorite guests, we Laura Harris-Smith with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me You are me the back. best. <laughs> We're glad you're here. And Laura, you have this cool new book, 30 Day Faith Detox. Yep. What? What is that? I mean, what what makes people think, what the faith detox part, like mm -hmm. your faith needs to be detox. Can your faith really genuinely oh, yeah. be toxic? Oh yeah, I say in the book, faith can be fickle. Mm. One minute it can make us feel like, uh, you know, we can do anything, jump off mountains and breathe right. underwater. And the next minute we can't seem to muster enough of it to put one foot in front of the other. It's almost like it has a, a mind of its own. So I just felt like we needed as a, the body of Christ, you know, we needed to step back and say, faith is what made me Christian. So I need to make sure my faith stays in a healthy place. Uh, and doing that with a body, mind and spirit approach. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. And you tell some things that I think are very interesting for our health yeah. in the way of vegetables and their colors yeah. and the colors yeah. of fruit. You yeah. know, what affects what? Well, I didn't know. I, I'm a farmer's daughter and a farmer's granddaughter. Okay. So I knew that God had made things on the third day of creation that would make us healthy. But I think I thought that vegetables or fruits were the color they are because of the mood God was in when he made them or something, you know? <laughs> and then I started realizing, wow, no, these uh, red fruits and these red vegetables are really great for my cardiovascular system, my heart, which that's easy to remember. Um, you've got your whites and tans, you know, that the meat of the banana and your mushrooms and those type things that are super good for your endocrine system, your nervous system, your reproductive system. So I basically organized the book by body parts and you cleanse all 15 major body systems in it for a total body detox. By the end of the 30 days, you've detoxed your entire body, uh, one organ system at a time. So it is a book about faith, but it's a body, mind, and spirit approach. And we really get down to brass tacks uh, on each of those three. <laughs> this is very important for you because I know when I went through this and I love it, but I thought I didn't realize different colors yeah. had to do with different parts. And so, you know, of course there's not time to teach all of this on here, but the book, I'm telling you, this is a book you'll underline. This is a book you'll go back and use. <laughs> this is a resource book. So I really encourage you to call in and get the book and get one for someone else because folks, uh, this life is very important. We don't get another body for this <laughs> life. We get eternal life when you have Jesus. No question, that's the best. But why not have the best here? And this will help you know in. Don't you agree? I agree. And Laura, I have a question. So if somebody reads this and they do it, mm -hmm. Um, what, what are some of the things they could expect results yeah. possibly from this? <laughs> well, uh, body, mind, and spirit. Okay, so let's start with the most important one, your spirit. I'm having people tell me from all over the world that they were reading one of the daily devotionals. And let me, let me just say that with the 30-day platform, you wake up every day and do a devotional. And I broke the 30 days into five categories that I began to notice people gave their prayer request to me. They all fell into one of these five categories. Uh, at the church where we pastor in Nashville, Eastgate, that was at the altar. These people would come up and they'd say, I either need prayer for my finances, or it would be their health, or it'd be their relationships, or maybe their social influences, things going on in the world around them, or their purpose and identity. What, what does God want me to do with my life? So I broke the 30 days down into that and we spend six days on each. So the first thing I'm having people tell me is that my I read this devotional 
on church hits or church splits and I had no idea how much grief was still inside of me. Or I read this devotional on uh, divorce and someone around me that's been impacted or me myself and I had no idea how much unforgiveness I was carrying around. Uh, I wept when I read this and I thought I'd dealt with it all in Jesus name, amen, you know. And so that's, that's the most exciting part because that's eternal. Those people are experiencing change on a level that their spirit is gonna then maintain the other changes that are coming. So emotionally, that bleeds over into that because after each day or after each devotional in the morning when you deal with your spirit in that way with the scriptures, there are then healing prayers for you to pray about that situation that you walked through. These 30 faith toxins, as I call them, things that affect our faith and drag it down in the mud and prevent us from being all that God creates us to be. So after reading the devotional and dealing with your spirit and then your, uh, your, body, your mind, we turn our attention to your body. So really to answer your question, I'm having people write me about all three. It's I'm going to be honest here. It's the body portion that has shocked me the most. It only takes up about 10% of the text uh, because, you know, there is a full body detox. As I said, you're eating or drinking four to five times a day. Nothing tastes like grass. You have my word. It's simple recipes uh, because I just don't really even like the kitchen that much. So I didn't, I mean, as a nutritionist, I enjoyed writing that part, but it's a book on faith. However, I'm hearing from people all over the world that are telling me I've lost 10, 20, 25 pounds. I've kept going a month later. I'm now up into the 40s of pounds, Um, but not just the weight loss, the faith gain. So I think I think the key to all the weight loss, not that I didn't think people would get healthy, but I think the surprise there and the key is that they're detoxing their spirit and their mind at the same time. So they're no longer reaching for those foods. They're no longer, no longer reaching for it at all when they have an emotional need. They're, they're turning to the Lord. So there's lasting fruit. We're not gonna leave any stone unturned. And you tell what, that we should have what, nine fruit? Nine servings of, of fruits or vegetables daily. Or vegetable, together. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, so you nine Spread out over together. the three meals. Yes, yes, absolutely. You can do, <laughs> you know, three of each. But there's, uh, or th- in the three meals throughout the day. So what's happening really in the world today is that we're eating compromised diets, fast food, and even me growing up, you know, as a farmer's daughter, something happened when like I got six kids and processed food became enticing and it was easier and it was quicker Mm -hmm. and it was a great microwaver and thaw and defroster, but not necessarily interested in cooking or coming up with healthy ingredients. So really that was it for me, was realizing, yes, God color coded our foods um, and we can use wellness to combat illness. So that's what I began doing. With food? With just with food. With food, do you agree food with all this? Prayer. Yeah, and I know you're watching today and you're saying, yeah, man, I have some really significant needs. Man, I need, I need prayer. Um, mm-hmm. And maybe you've made some decisions based out of emotional trauma, out of some faith, toxic, toxic faith problems and stuff. We'd love to pray for you. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We like praying for you. And we see God do absolutely incredible things. And you know, Laura, when you say you combat illness with wellness, Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a really, that's kind of a a really interesting way to think about it instead of just kind of combating symptoms. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I also think that as Christians, we've done a phenomenal job in the last 20 years, the church has, on helping people understand spiritual warfare and and also um, emotional warfare, the battlefield of the mind. But I don't think we've done a very good job on bodily physical warfare and how to quit putting ammunition in the enemy's gun and living with diseased bodies, uh, you know, popping pills. I'm not anti-medication. I'm just saying that you can only pop so many pills before you have other side effects and other problems that need, need more pills. So yes, I firmly believe that through uh, food, things that God gave us on the third day of creation, minerals, you know, plants and herbs and prayer, we can have a, a strong, healthy mind, body and spirit and it's impenetrable. How can the enemy wiggle in there? Uh, and so I believe in healing. I believe in calling down the power of healing, the miracles of healing. 
But I also believe that we have to maintain those miracles afterwards or we're, it's a slap in the face. It's really sidestepping the cross and saying, okay, I know you died for me, Jesus, and I'm putting all of this on you and you, you're going to heal me, but I really don't have to take care of this body because you'll just do it again. You know, what, what if our children acted that way and didn't steward things well? So we do have to do that. And First, first Thessalonians 5.23 shows us that we can have blame in these areas because it, it says that we need to remain blameless, body, mind, and spirit till the coming of our Lord Jesus. That's great. And I know how powerful the Word of God is and how it works in you and how it works through you. So imagine when you get this book, my, you're going to be affected spiritually. But let me tell you, the Word also affects me spirit mm -hmm. physically because the Bible says the Word is spirit and life. Mm. So this is important to us that we get the Word embedded in our hearts. We really make a commitment to it. But I like this in the book, especially for me. Mm -hmm. I'm hooked on the book. I love the Word. <laughs> But to see all these different colors of vegetables and mm -hmm. fruits and how they work in your life. Mm -hmm. And also it kind of gives me a goal that I should have nine fruit and vegetables a, a day. So mm -hmm. yesterday I counted. Now let's see, how many <laughs> fruit did I have and how many vegetables did I have? And I like what you have to say in here about mm -hmm. berries, mm -hmm. blueberries, strawberries, those yes. kinds of things. Yes. So please, don't forget to get this book. Mm -hmm. It is really, really important for you. Mm -hmm. So call in, get the book, and of course leave your prayer request because we love to pray for you. We don't counsel, but we love to pray. But these are opportunities, I believe, that we cannot pass by. Mm -hmm because we have one life and you know you're not getting two. So treat this life well. Do you need a reset button for your mind, body and spirit? Wellness expert and certified nutrition counselor, Laura Harris-Smith takes you on a 30 day journey that will not only reset and detox your body, but also your mind and spirit. For your gift of $25 or more, we will send you 30 Day Faith Detox, where you'll confront 30 universal faith toxins like doubt, discouragement, and anger and flush them out. Using ingredients from your own kitchen, you'll get delicious recipes for smoothies, juices, soups, and entrees that cleanse your body as you also detox your mind and spirit through prayer and meditation on God's Word. We'll also send you Marilyn's Healing Faith Teaching CD. The first step to receiving healing is having faith that the Lord still heals and wants to heal you. In this interactive message, Marilyn shares her personal story of healing and walks you through the steps of how to be healed. We will also include our healing scripture card for easy reference to God's word on healing. Call or click today for this valuable resource. So glad you're joining us today. And of course, grab your book, The 30 Day Faith Detox. Super helpful. But you know, Laura, um, one of the things that's a little bit challenging, and you know, I was reading through this and thinking, man, I'm busy. I know you're busy, and I'm mm -hmm. not disputing that you're mm -hmm. busy, but mm -hmm. many of our viewers, you know, they have a busy lifestyle, full time yeah. work, and all these mm -hmm. spinning plates. How do you do all of this um, with this book? Yeah. Well, we all work in some capacity, some work at home, some work outside of the home with my six kids and eight grandkids and all the things I'm going and busy and doing, even though I'm located, centrally located at home, 
there can still be a challenge to make priorities in the kitchen and not think fast food all the time. What I do in the program, because my kitchen is not the favorite place to be, uh, is I make it super simple for you with super simple ingredients to first of all start the morning with a smoothie, okay? So what you can do is the night before, put all your ingredients in a mason jar, put it in the refrigerator, and then the next morning dump it in the blender, press blend, you know? Uh, for your juicings, there are, I've actually had some people telling me they just invested in a uh, really inexpensive $20 juicer for their office and they, they did these juicings at the office. I'm thinking, you could actually just put it in a mason jar, put it in a little thermal bag and take it. Um, same thing with any of the meals, but the best thing to keep in mind is that out of the 30 days, you're maybe talking about 20 work days. It's worth the investment to just go to a little extra trouble during that time. And you are eating or drinking four to five times a day, but the good news is you won't go hungry. Uh, you can eat meat if you don't want to do the veggie version. Um, and it's just, I've heard people saying all over the world how they are really enjoying the foods and continuing to eat them afterward. That makes me really happy. Really, really happy. Nice. You know, the other question I wanted to ask is it relates to our appetites. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. sometimes we want, like, you know, I want the guacamole bacon yeah. cheeseburger, you know, that, <laughs> man, that sounds yeah. awesome, right? Yeah, like some yeah. side of french fries. So what about our appetites? Because yeah. that's a, that's a kind of tricky path to navigate. Well, I actually have a section in the book for veggie haters, not that this applies entirely to that, but there's a secret in there and it is that you ask God to change your palate. First of all, quit saying, I hate vegetables. Whatever we speak over ourselves is what we will become. And we have the power of death right here, but we also have the power of life. So I tell people, speak to those appetites and tell them, that's not healthy for me. This is what hel is healthy for me and I'm going to enjoy this. Slowly you're going to be able to see that tide turn. But the really cool thing about making a smoothie is that you can throw four ingredients in there you'd never eat and the other five or the other even two, if they're sweet, are going to totally camouflage it. <laughs> so I'm sneaky in that way. And one of my favorite names for camouflage. God is Jehovah Sneaky, right? So we do a little detox sneaky in here um, and really get those colored foods in there that act like claws. They're organ specific. They're going to go in there and take toxins out of certain organs. I discuss how to then get the toxins out of your body through um, Epsom salt baths, body brushing, this type of thing, changing your sheets often, making sure that the toxins that come out, because they will, and your skin has a million little mouths on it, you know, um, they will come out of your body and you will begin to feel a difference than changing your appetite. You, your appetite will be different, your taste buds will be different hmm. afterwards. Totally cool. I like that. I like it very much. So I have to make some decisions I want to tell you about because we take these big team trips. Oh, you know, we'll have 100, 150 people. Mm -hmm. So we stay in nice hotels. Mm -hmm. The food is good. The beds are good. They're, we're secure. But the meals at night, yeah. oh, are just, you know, <laughs> fabulous. Yeah. So what I do is I make a decision before I go down to the meal. Mm -hmm. No bread. Okay. And no sweets. And normally I don't eat a lot of mm -hmm. sweets or a lot of bread, but when I get with people, oh, sure. I want to eat everything. <laughs> sure. And, but if I make the decision ahead mm -hmm. of time, remember, mm -hmm. no breads, no sweets, look for mm -hmm. the salads, mm -hmm. look for the vegetables, look for yeah. the fish. Yeah. That helps me. So I think a lot of this helps you to make right decisions. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I know Thanksgiving, Christmas, things like that, but if I do that, and eat fat and eat food mm -hmm. every day, I'd be as big as a blimp. Because for one thing, <laughs> as you get older, your metabolism, it it's disgusting, yeah. slows down. Yeah. And so making good decisions, well, you say, I don't know how to make them. Well, you do <laughs> now because you're gonna get the book. Mm -hmm. So call us. I love this, the 30 Day Faith Detox, because it really deals with your spirit, your soul, and your body. Mm -hmm. I believe, just put my hand on my heart, this is a must for everyone. You may think you know everything about nu nutrition. I thought I knew a lot, but I got into the book and thought, hmm, you're kind of retarded here. There are a lot of things you need to know. Don't you agree? Sure, and another question, before I ask this question though, of course we want you to call because we love to pray for you. Any need in your life, we love to pray. So hop on the phone, get on the website. But another question I have is, um, what about various ages? 
So, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. mom, she's almost 85. Everybody yeah. looks at her, pinnacle of health, all this awesome yes, stuff. I love it. Um, but we got everybody mm -hmm. down to teenagers, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, my youngest is 12, you know, so that's kind yeah. of exciting. So, is this age specific or is it across it the board? It is because God created foods to be for all of us, our colorful foods to be for all of us. I have heard uh, from people who are very, very young, like elementary age, doing this. I've heard of people in their late 70s doing this. Um, and everything in between. I've heard of diabetics. I've had people who've come to me and said, I have run this past my doctor and he has told me there's nothing on it that I can't have. They're going to regulate their blood sugar doing, during it. They're going to, if they are diabetic, they're going to eat more green bananas than the really ripe sugary yellow ones and tricks like that that I tell you in there. But uh, yes, it's not age specific because health is not age specific. And God created us and what did He do? He, he plopped us down in the middle of a garden. Mm. And so if we can get back to that and what He created us to eat and breads and it's not that breads and sweets are bad. You have to learn to cook with the right flours. You know, sometimes my husband will bring me flours, almond flour and rice flour and all these different type flours that replace wheat. Wheat is so hard on the body. Today's wheat is. Um, and the same with sweets. So, but for the detox, we ask you to spend your appetite on your color. So the secret for you on these trips, yes, spend your appetite on your color, but start nudging them and saying, you know, some almond flour rolls would really be good. Some G-free bread or maybe something sweetened with stevia or honey. I take my decaf with honey and uh, it's really good. You know, we had some last night and yep. it's good for you and it's good and it replaces the sugar spike you're going to get. And I think we set up habits. Yeah, we do. And so, Creatures you know, you do this 30-day detox. Honey, I'm going to tell you something. You're <laughs> going to have a habit. Because I know there are certain things that I took out of my life, like Hershey bars. And <laughs> I loved them. I'd always go to the grocery store and buy a Hershey bar. You know, that was my treat. Mm -hmm. And the Lord began to deal with me about it and about my weight with it. And so I said, okay, for so many days, I won't eat a Hershey bar. It was 21 days, actually. Wow. And the 22nd day, I didn't want one. Isn't that amazing? And so the cravings, you know, I think cravings can really be helped through this book. I have good news for you, though. Please. You, you, you can have chocolate. It's loaded with magnesium. As long as you put things like 75% or more cocoa, in the content, um, I usually buy 85%. The numbers are right on the front there now if it's healthy chocolate. And some are sweetened with stevia, but even if it's not, the sugar content is going to be much lower. So chocolate is good for you. It's everything else it's mixed calcium, in. It's calcium. Yeah, I'm right it? there with you though. That was one of my yeah. favorite snacks. It really was. I loved it. But you know, I didn't like the healthy kind. I like the other kind. But um, I just want to say this to you today. I like this scripture, as your days are, so shall your strength be. Mm. And so, you know, people say to me, well, how do you have strength in your 80s? Well, he said I would have it. Right. He didn't say I would go downhill. But I like the basic principles of doing what he says. Drinking the water, even when I'm on an airplane, I have to get up and go to the bathroom. You know, <laughs> I tell you, I ask for aisle seats because <laughs> I can get up in the morning and my brain just feels fuzzy and I can drink water. Woo! And it so gives me true. the perk I need. It's she so talks true. about massage and how your body responds. And again, you just get one body for this life. Mm -hmm. So I can't encourage you enough to call in for prayer. Call in and get the books. Notice I said plural. Because you have friends, you have relatives, and maybe they won't listen to you. But if you gave them a book, oh, well, this is a gift and they would read it. And may today just be the best day of your life because Jesus lives big in you. Do you need a reset button for your mind, body, and spirit? Wellness expert and certified nutrition counselor, Laura Harris-Smith, takes you on a 30-day journey that will not only reset and detox your body, but also your mind and spirit. For your gift of $25 or more, we will send you 30 Day Faith Detox, where you'll confront 30 universal faith toxins like doubt, discouragement, and anger, and flush them out. 
Using ingredients from your own kitchen, you'll get delicious recipes for smoothies, juices, soups, and entrees that cleanse your body as you also detox your mind and spirit through prayer and meditation on God's Word. We'll also send you Marilyn's Healing Faith Teaching CD. The first step to receiving healing is having faith that the Lord still heals and wants to heal you. In this interactive message, Marilyn shares her personal story of healing and walks you through the steps of how to be healed. We will also include our healing scripture card for easy reference to God's Word on healing. Call or click today for this valuable resource. so glad to have our guest with us today, Laura. And you know, many of the people watching today, would you please pray for our audience? Because so many of them have health issues, mm -hmm. their faith, they, they're discouraged because mm -hmm. of faith stuff yeah. has happened. They've got some emotional mm -hmm. struggles and you praying for them would be just invaluable. Yeah, I've been there. I would love to. Well, I just want to encourage you. If you are someone who has little energy, I want to just tell you, I'm sitting next to someone who has tons of energy in her 80s because she takes care of herself, body, mind, and spirit. And I, in my 50s now, I feel better than I did in my 20s because I've learned to steward my body uh, and my mind and my spirit the way God intended. So I want to pray for you to have supernatural help today, but that also that God would begin to add His super to your natural and that the decisions that you make body, mind, and spirit would begin to change you from the inside out. So Father, I thank you for uh, my friend here today. And I thank you that no matter what their issue is in their body, even if it's chronic, they are going to be given secrets by you to use wellness to counteract illness and to resolve illness in their life. Father, thank you that their emotions are going to be whole. Someone is really struggling with discouragement, even despair, even to the point of wanting to take your own life. And the Lord says, I have a new start for you. That's not a part of your future and you are gonna live long and live strong. And for your spirit, that you would be powerful in the spirit and be the person of faith that you want to be. So I just speak over you first Thessalonians 5 23 that you would remain blameless body soul and spirit at the coming of our Lord Jesus and that he would give you every key that you need to be able to remain healthy body mind and spirit God bless you friend thank you for watching Sarah and me on YouTube we're so glad oh my goodness we're elated to get to hang out with you make sure you click here to subscribe today